Kerry, you told the audience just then that you work in the second oldest profession on the planet, yep. education. And yet education is an industry that can see enormous disruption on the horizon. You can see the loss of foreign students to Australian universities and the revenue that they bring. You can see the potential of YouTube as a way of delivering a lecture rather than a lecture theater. You can see the concept of micro courses where people just get uh, spasmodically in, uh, uh, educated for what they need at a particular time. How do you chart a future for your stakeholders when they can see that uh, disruption on the horizons, but at the same time, uh, they need to deal with the day-to-day -day issues? Absolutely, it's a bit like uh, a CIO who's in, you know, keeping the lights on versus, you know, innovation and empowering. Um, for us, it, you have to have that vision of the future. You know, blockchain could be incredibly disruptive for the education industry, but no one can see it coming yet because no one can see a, a use case for it. But it's about keep putting all those things that are coming on the horizon, just-in-time learning, blockchain, micro-credentialing, in people's vision all the time. You got to keep keeping it in the front of the window rather than looking behind. We're teaching in old ways. You know, stand up in front of the, the class and deliver a whole pile of learning. You know, rote learning doesn't exist anymore. Our students are coming very teched up. They're coming up with so much information already in their pockets yeah. uh, that we have to start teaching our students right from a very young age about critical thinking and how to define what is good information and what is poor information. So, you know, keep it, as a technologist, trying to keep that in people's forefront is, is quite challenging. Okay, and I, I can't help feeling you've got an enormously diverse state, group of stakeholders. Absolutely. You've got the millennial students who are just digitally savvy and you've got the people who are the sort of so-called knowledge workers at a university, the lecturers and the professors who've got this sort of sense of academic sense of freedom and don't tell me what to do. How do you influence such a diverse group of stakeholders? It is such a diverse group and plus throw in the fact that we've got researchers there who are um, questioned, trained to question. Yeah. You know, so that really puts us on our toes all the time. So uh, for us it's, it's getting winning over those academics, getting those academics that are um, forerunners and, and, and and sort of bastions of new ways of learning because the old ways of learning is just having one piece, piece of information and that knowledge is power is really really gone um, you know the passing of knowledge and getting people to feedback is the most powerful thing that they can do nowadays so it's not really telling them that they're obsolete it's telling them that they need to change and transform in different ways and bring their learning into a different sector and into a different way of thinking our students are teched up from you know primary school, you know parents get to see what the students are learning. They come into um, higher education, and that completely stops. And you know the kids are like, what, "Why is this? Why can't we communicate? Why can't we collaborate? Why can't we do this?" So it's about bringing that value to those academics, so they can see that it will really transform the way that they teach. Okay, I suppose it's evidence-based sort of type. Uh uh, a way forward for absolutely um, uh, work integrated learning you know students don't want to be imprisoned for three years anymore at universities and given a certificate and then patted on the back and said good luck they want to have that work integrated learning they want to work with researchers who are working on real world problems and, and um, go through that process with them to understand how they're doing it so that they can actually do it themselves mm -hmm.